how do you pass data from a child component to another child component? Right? You cannot pass data directly to a child component because, you know, um, because if you do that, then one of them is actually the parent, right? If these were both child components, then really this is actually the parent and there's no sibling component. Okay. To do that, you would do something like the following. So for example, if the parent is the middle and child A wants to pass data to child B, it must go through a mediator. Okay, and the mediator here will be the parent component. So there is no direct from you know child to child in this example here. Okay, so you pass to the parent, parent receives A data, it passes that data to the B component. And then the other way around is the same. So therefore you would say, you know, child A can go to child, go to parent, go to B, and vice versa. So in this case, you see here the child component A, child component B, they both point to the parent component, the A component, and data being shared across these components via the parent component. Okay, so that's how you um, would construct this, uh, uh, you know, um, scenario where two components receive. So the child here, this is sending from the child component out. So I can using the output, receiving will be input. So if both data are being shared across, if, if you know, they pass be back and forth between the two, then both all these will have the output and the input, output and input as well, okay? Uh, I'm just showing you here one direction, that's why. But if you go the other way too, then yeah, it's gonna have output here as well. Um, just make sure you have a unique data inside here. So that's an example here. Again, I showed you here now in, in more, um, I guess, clearer, a clearer example, showing you the same diagram above. You see that we have the parent component as the mediator, okay? This is the source here. This is the template. Just showing you how the child A tag here refers to this child A tag, child B tag, renders this child B component, okay? The data will be rendered here and here. So the parent manages the communication between the two component. So the child A, remember you have a binding, a property binding to child A. This property must exist and the child A component is going as the input, right? The property binding is the input to the child A component. And so the points here is referring to these points here, like 1500, it's gonna to go to child A component down here as the input. Okay, it receives that data down here. And then child B, in this case, we're starting from the child B as the I'm passing data from the child B to child A. So the same scenario as above, right? You pass data from the child B to the parent component. You process the function parent update event. I update that event, uh, the points, in this case, whatever this number is, uh, it'll be one, right? I update that one time. I plus plus points, so you get one. One comes in here <clears throat> to this component and the parent component calls this function, pass one to this event, one goes in here to points, and in points, this points updates, and it gets a one. And because we're binding this variable to another component, the child A component, so one goes in here, we're binding that to a property and the child A component, it passes to child A points, right down here, initially was zero, was to invoke this, it's gonna change this to one, receiving this points, and then we update its component to display one. Okay, so it's quite a lot of ways to go there. So it takes six steps to get there <clears throat> from the uh, click of the button, passing data to this component. As you can see, it's quite a lot. Uh, usually in the child, on the uh, template, right, you could create a, um, a template variable. If you remember, we did the last week with the form, you just pass with a pound sign the data, get its value, and then pass it right directly in the template. And this is not because you, you, you're dealing with uh, components, you have to go through this route. This is behind the scene what's going on. But on the browser, of course, it's instantly, you don't see it. It just happens like live 
it's a live live event, um, and, and it won't it won't there's no lag really. Okay, so um, I know it's confusing. So please study these three diagrams, to see how they work. Um, we're not going to implement this feature here. Okay, the child to child component. I just want to show you that these are the three scenarios where you can pass data from component to components using either a mediator for the two two child components or from child to parent or parent to child. But in our example and in our homework assignment, we're going to render um, the, the component from parent to child and then from child to parent, okay? Just that direction. 